Hey guys, it's AJ, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what I'm doing with the new Airbnb algorithm changes, the new search features, and what you should be thinking about as well. And before we get into it, if you could smash that like button, if you found any of my content on this channel in any way helpful, I would really appreciate it. So let's dive in. Obviously, there's been some crazy different changes that have happened on the Airbnb platform in particular, and that has disrupted a lot of different hosts in a variety of different ways. Obviously, the new functions where you're able to search by category is something that's really, really important, and making sure that your listing shows up in the proper category is one of those key features. There's also a couple of different changes around you know, how your listing is showing up, what Airbnb is actually pushing as far as different listings that they're pushing to the top of the search results. And those are all things that we're gonna talk about in today's video. Now things have been crazy for me in the past couple of days. I just closed on cabin number two, here's a preview. And, and on top of that, I've had a lot of different things going on at my cabin, guests coming in and out, and then also making sure that I can do some updates to my listing to make sure that it stands out with those new changes. And that's something I'm gonna get into today's video. But to be honest, I am all over the place, which is why my desk looks absolutely insane, like a crazy person, but I'm excited to share with you what my thoughts are around this new algorithm update. So to start off, let's go to my computer, let's check out the new Airbnb website. What are some of those features and things that we should be taking into account? And then how can we make sure that our listings are getting to the top and categorized properly? So here's the new Airbnb basically search functionality. And I wanna, I wanna first talk about this because it's really important as we start thinking about what is it that we can actually do to make sure that we're showing up in the search function as best as we possibly can. So all of us know, and, and we should be at least aware of at this point, that Airbnb has introduced um, new algorithms and one of the biggest changes that they've had in recent years, which is um, these categories. So these categories, there's around 50 of them, um, where basically, if you are categorized in one of these categories, guests can say, let's say, let's go take a look at tiny homes, and it's going to show any property that is listed as a quote unquote, tiny home. Um, so you'll see here, there's one in Blue Ridge, there's Clayton, Rising Farm. All of these different properties are basically properties where they are considered a tiny house, okay? So that means that getting properly categorized is really important. And I'll talk about how you can do that here in just a sec. But the other important feature of this is the way that these listings are now showing up. What do I mean by that? Instead of showing the title of your listing, these listings are now showing the location. They're showing the nightly rate, depending on how you're searching. And in this particular case, I am searching for anywhere, any week that's close to me. And the only thing that I've shown is, is these tiny houses. So your location also matters. Airbnb is taking into account where are you located and how far or how willing do you think you'll be able to drive to a certain area. So it thinks that, you know, I might be willing to drive 56 miles to Blue Ridge or 80 miles to this particular um, location. All of that is, is really important. The other thing that's really important is the fact that you don't have these titles anymore. So your title is, where are you? So if I take a look at this particular listing, this is the actual title, but it doesn't show up that way on the search results. That's not to say that the title doesn't matter, but it isn't the first thing that your guests see. What do your guests first see? Your guests see this, which is your cover photo. So it's not enough to have a good description and, and things like that. It is how do you get these guests to click on your listing and then actually book it. So this photo is really, really important. And one thing you'll notice is that it is now a one by one, so basically a square instead of the previous rectangle. So something that you'll want to let your photographer know if you're going out and reshooting photos of your place. The other thing that's really important is obviously your nightly rate. That's important for guests because it decides, you know, how much is a guest willing to book uh, or pay for an actual listing. And then the other thing that's really, really important here is your um, your rating, right? So all of these reviews that you're focusing on getting those five-star reviews is going to matter even more. And it's not even about the quantity anymore. It is all about the quality. You'll notice that these ones have five stars, 4.97, 4.93. Um, let's just see how many um, reviews this particular listing has. So this has 76 reviews at that five-star 
rating. So that's going to be important for um, this particular review. The other thing that's really important are these high quality photos. So make sure that you go and, and take a look at um, your photos and think about updating that. I would consider major changes in the way that Airbnb is showing these different properties to guests. Let's go back to my camera and I will walk you through exactly what I'm doing and what I would suggest that you do as well on your particular listing. Obviously, I have talked about, you know, expanding to other platforms and making sure that you're doing that and that's really important. But in this video, I want to specifically talk about what is it that you should be doing on Airbnb that's going to allow you to get back up listed on the search algorithm. So let's talk about that. Number one thing that you should be doing and what I'm actually doing and have been scheduling all week is your photos. Now your photos are absolutely key in the new algorithm and in particular your cover photo. That first photo that the guest sees needs to be quote unquote epic. The other thing that I've seen is that having good lighting in the photo is also really, really important. Whether that is bumping up the saturation on your photos or making sure that these photos are really bright or in some way edited so that they seem as epic as you can possibly make it. Now doing that for you know an apartment is obviously very different and you'll wanna to try to figure out different ways that you could do that. The other piece of this that's really important is how do you make sure that the amenities that you have that make your listing different whether it is the design, whether it's the fact that you have a hot tub, whether it's the fact that you are close to a national park, close to downtown, how do you make sure that that's captured in photos and then also reiterated to the guest? Now let's talk about how you can get ranked higher in your particular category. If you're a tiny home or an A-frame or a dome structure, you wanna make sure that you, number one, have that in your title, you repeat that in your particular description multiple different ways, saying that this dome property, this cabin, this tiny house has all of these different features in this tiny house. It is all about filling that description and the space that Airbnb gives you to make sure that you have all of those keywords repeated as much as you possibly can because it will bump your listing up or at least make sure that you are categorized properly. The other thing that I also suggest you to do is go look at what your competitors who are being ranked at the top of the categories are doing. It's not to say that you should copy everything that they're doing, but you should take some of what they're doing into account. Have they recently updated their photos? Are they changing their descriptions? What does that difference look like between their listing and your listing and how can you make it either more similar or how can you make it so that your listing outshines your competitors. So let's summarize this real quick. Number one, take a look at your photos. If you need to update, make sure you invest in good photography. Number two, make sure that those photos are actually showing the amenities that you have. And number three, make sure that you focus on your copywriting so that you get properly categorized in Airbnb's algorithm. If any of this was helpful, feel free to let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if there's something that I might have missed about the new Airbnb algorithm that you think that myself or the community should know. Also, let me know in the comments. And of course, I would love it if you subscribe and come out with different content each and every week. And if you're interested in becoming an Airbnb host or interested in any of the different software that I use to run my business, feel free to check that out in the description. And we'll see you next week. Bye.